Today we are quizzing one another yet again with another hot sauce challenge. This time yes, we are. with the hostile hot sauce West Coast heat. It's actually a Danish product that I picked up at a market here. Yeah, uh, it, yes. Yeah, just not that far away from here actually. No. And uh, I tried out all the all the, the the levels that I could find until yeah. I finally had to say stop. This is as much as I can take. Uh, you you told me that one was it was up there. It's very up there. He has like I think he has two or three different levels above this one. Okay. Uh, but um, if we uh, like this one, I'm, I'm definitely gonna find him again, and I'm gonna ask, yeah. can I have even a stronger one for the next time? Next Absolutely. one, of course. Now I will say <laughs> it doesn't say anything about the Scoville scale. That's the, the scale you you normally would uh, yeah. do. That is not a, like a known thing in Denmark to the same extent. So uh, so that kind of makes sense. But uh, it, it actually looks delicious. I, I've smelled it before. It actually smells good. Like it has lemon and garlic and, and a lot of spices, signature spices, and habanero, and then a lot of roasted black and red chili peppers, who are unknown. Yes, they are very unknown. unknown. What kinds there are in? Uh, I think it's a little bit of a secret recipe. Yes. So in front of us, we have two spoons, and we're going <laughs> to quiz one another in lyrics today. Please say that again. Two, two spoons. Two spoons. Two spoons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, we're gonna quiz one another in lyrics uh, and gonna mash them to the right artist. And uh, I made a quiz for you, and you made another sort of quiz contest yes. for me. Yeah. So we're gonna have two two types of uh, contests today. Yep. Should I just start out the action and see how many uh, spoons you're gonna you go for? It. Let's uh, let's let's pop the head on this. Uh, yes. This big boy. Let's let's see what's happened here. The first lyric goes. Everybody's got their problems. Everybody says the same things to you. It's just a matter how you solve them and knowing how to change the things you've been through. Is this written by Sum 41 or Simple Plan? <laughs> how can we both? Uh, read it again, please. The lyric. You want to read it again? Yeah. Everybody's got their problems. Everybody's... Sum 41. It's Sum 41. Yeah. That is correct. It's from the song Hell Song. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'll just uh, <laughs> try not to be covered by <laughs> Try not to sing a long yeah. challenge. <laughs> you ready for the next one? So. You passed this one. Next one goes, what about now? What about today? What if you're making me all I was meant to be? What if our love never went away? What if it's lost behind words we could never find? Hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Maybe before it's too late, what about now? Is this written by Evanescence or Daughtry? Can I have the first sentence again? What about now? Evanescence. That is incorrect, it's written by Daughtry. It was? Yeah, yes. I, I thought I recognized it. So there's one spoon for you, my boy. Let's go for it. See if you like this one. I, I will start out easy, you know, just uh, and I'll, 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 I'll... Whoa! Oh, that's, that's, that's not start easy! Out easy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll try not to. Um, this is waste the best the beginning I have. Uh, I could ever imagine. <laughs> I'm freaking shaking on my hand. You, you've been like hyping it up because it was was strong. So, cheers, cheers. It's better. Better than the one. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> it's better than hundred percent better than the last one. Yeah, the last one just tastes yeah. rotten somehow. Yeah, it's really nice, came but later. It definitely has a more more punch. <laughs> like, like if I'm getting more wrong, it's gonna it's gonna burn. It's gonna, but, uh, it's, gonna, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You're, yeah, it's fine. You're two questions in. I have eight for you. Oh, f you. <laughs> you ready for the next one? No. Okay. Uh, the next one goes. Where should I go? What should I do? I don't understand what you want. Cause I don't know if I can trust you. I don't understand what you want from me. Is this written by Taylor Swift or who was taking? Uber Stain. That is correct. Yeah. I'm making this one easy for you, I think. I, I, I'm making this hard on you because I can't help singing in a minute and you will be copy stride like, oh, in hell. I'm sorry. You ready for the next one? Totally. Okay. I used to hold my freak back. Now I'm letting go. I'll make my own choice. I'll run the show. So leave the lights on. No, you can't make me behave. Is this written by Demi Lovato or Eminem? Mm. It sounds like a rap song, like the way the rhyming goes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was a Demi Lovato and, and just a 
obscure that it sounds more rappy and not lyrically, uh, you know. I, I actually can't like recognize it, which also I believe would, would that's why I would think it maybe was an Eminem song because I, I can't really recognize the lyrics and he, and he raps pretty fast, so I, yeah, I, that's I, true. I, I wouldn't like. I would catch, gone. Yeah, I would catch his uh, his drift and not the lyrics as much, but. Those words sound more like something Demi Lovato would write. I think I'm gonna go with Demi Lovato. I think it's, it's a Demi Lovato song. I don't really know it. I think Demi Lovato. That is actually correct. It is correct. Yeah, it's I, from I, a song called Confident. Of course. I, I, I thought like like the lyrics just was more of a female singer uh, doing some stuff than, than it would have been Eminem. But but yeah. The next four ones are gonna be a little bit harder. Oh no. <laughs> we just came by the easy ones. Of course we did. The next one is goals. Um, are you ready for it? Yeah, totally, totally. What you know about rolling down into deep? I don't. When your brain goes numb, you can call it that mental freeze. Oh, when wait. these people talk too much, put that shit in slow motion. I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Mm. Is this written by Starset or Mask Wolf? I know the song completely. I said Adele because rolling in the deep. <laughs> but when you got through the lyrics, I like. Yeah, I know that one. So, I know Masked Wolf. And I know his voice. It's not him. It's the other one. What was that? Starset? Yeah, Starset. You're going with Starset. Yeah. That is incorrect. It it's, is. It is actually, actually Masked, Masked Wolf. I honest, the way I'm listening to the song in my head right now, you know, the voices that we all have. Yes. 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 <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, it's definitely a more like a high pitched song. Yeah, tone there's been I, a lot of covers of this track that might throw you off a bit. That's right? Mask Wolf yeah, is the yeah. original song. I didn't know it was Mask Wolf. I, I seriously just didn't know. So there's. He's a, more dark, right? He's more. Yeah, dark. like he. In this track, when he starts with rapping, it's uh, very low key, very laid back. I think I'm listening. I was actually I have a rock in my like, head. Or well, I actually prefer his version. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, that's another spoon for you, my dear. Yeah, no, the, the other one was bigger. Ah, oh, <laughs> you give me a. All right, fine. There you go. Uh, fine. Yes. I'm a big boy. Gotta be equal loud here. And not spill on the table, because we will never get it off. <laughs> it's that strong. <laughs> I'm supposed to put this in my belly. Yes. Cheers. Like you really get the lemon and garlic. <laughs> like that's the one. That's you're the actually feeling this one. Yeah, like I can't try the you. last one because the last one you you it was just boring. You you took that one like a freaking champ. I just, yeah. I just couldn't take this the taste. Same here. The, the, the taste last was, one was so bad in taste. Yeah. This is fine. I mean, it's definitely strong, but it's not something like it will make me sweat, but it will not make me cry. And, <laughs> Went for it. <laughs> but I just like the whole garlic and lemon mix. It's really really garlicky and super duper lemony. Like mm -hmm. it feels like lemon peel. Yeah, and not as much lemon like juice, so it has that sweet lemon thing over it, and you kind of taste it. It doesn't burn that much if you have just no taste buds, but it does burn. I, I will say, I can it hear, does burn. Can, I can hear your saliva. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super. I'm so much more saliva. Yeah, but the, but the, actually, it, like it's it's actually good. I mean, it's you can taste strong. that it's a, a, a proper product too. You ready for the next one? Yeah, I've been trying to call. I've been on my own for long enough. Maybe you could show me how to love. Maybe I'm going through withdrawals. You didn't even have to do too much. You can turn me on with just a touch. Is this written by Britney Spears or The Weeknd? Well, that's a good question. Because when I when I found the lyric, I was like, hmm, this could be both. <laughs> it really could. <laughs> the Weeknd. You think it's The Weeknd? Yeah. That is actually correct. It's from the song called Blinding Lights. Yeah, I know that song. I couldn't remember the lyrics, but like, that's not Britney. I wouldn't know if it was Britney. You know, Britney bitch to the heart. You know, <laughs> total, total Britney fan here. I don't care. You ready for uh, the next one? Absolutely. You're on your knees begging, please stay with me. But honestly, I just need to be a little crazy. Is this written by Avril Lavigne? Avril Lavigne, yeah. Or Kelly Clarkson? Avril Lavigne. The thing is, Avril Lavigne. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, Avril Lavigne. It's Avril Lavigne! Yeah. From the song called What The Hell. Yeah, I know that one. It's a good one. Then I have the last one. Oh, it's the last one! Oh. Yes. And this one should actually be easy. I wish that I could just go back and be the way I was. I wish I still not give a damn about how I come across. 
I wish the way I saw myself had never gotten lost in all the worries, all the thoughts, overthinking all the parts. So exhausted, always caught up inside my doubts and flaws, and I'm about to count them all. Is this written by Mike Shinoda or Malik Harris? Mike Shinoda. That is incorrect. It's written by Malik Harris, called song Rockstars. I couldn't remember who it was. I was just like, you love Mike, so it's gotta be, uh, you know, I, I just went with the bias, but yeah, damn it. This is why I mean, it's like, like this one is easy. Of course it is. <laughs> well, I took two rappers, so. <laughs> Could have been either one of them. Oops. Oh, oh, no. Burns on your lips and your tummy. <laughs> you get burns? Yeah, it like it, it it burns in your like lips for some reason. Even though I haven't put anything on my lips. I can actually see you're starting to sweat in yeah, your yeah, face. Totally, I'm sweating. Bit. Um, I will say I can feel it in my like it, like drinking that would give me like a, a, a stomach sore or something like that. Um, but it but it tastes fine. It's delicious. Like I'm not dying, but uh, but, but yes, you're you're halfway there. <laughs> it's definitely hot. It's a good one. Okay, you uh, gave you you've got three incorrect out of yeah eight. So cool. So um, so that's five points. Are we making a transition here or something like that? Transition time. I'm gonna go get something to drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know it's gonna make it worse, but he just needs something. He needs a little drink. Sosna, everyone, this mm -hmm. is not sponsored. <laughs> yeah. Made in Denmark, not sponsored. <laughs> the worst thing you could do was drink that. Yeah, I, yeah, I can feel that. I can feel yeah, that. That's the Gosh, worst thing it. you could do. Oh, it's burning. Like, we have no drinks out here because we're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> and the only drinks we have is the ones that, that's bad for you when, you when you eat this. Yeah. Well, I got. Jesus. You can feel it? <laughs> I can feel it. Like the third one really got me. Third one got me. Next quiz. My quiz is gonna be a little different. Yeah. I have prepared three lyrics. You are gonna get the artist and you just have to match the lyric with the artist. Okay. So I will give you the artist and then I will read three different lyrics. So I'll have one to guess. of which are the artist original. song, and it's gonna right. be like a known, pretty good hit from them. You can barely tell. Yeah, go f yourself. <laughs> it's your turn now. <laughs> I will make you suffer. I can't wait to die. <laughs> All right. So which of these lyrics are a Phil Collins slash Genesis song? It's because it's one of those I'll never listen to. Oh, well, you're. F then yeah yeah so uh, so uh, so because full content has uh, been in Genesis 2 and the lead singer I've, I've just included that as well yeah number one lyric she seems to have an invisible touch yeah she reaches in and grabs right hold of your heart mm. lyric two if you'll be my bodyguard I can be a long lost pal I can call you Benny and you can call me out and number three I can be what you want I can be the best you ever had I will be your love tonight those are the three, and one of them is a Genesis song. I will, uh, I will say it's a Genesis song. I'm gonna stick with number two. That is incorrect. God damn it! Yeah, it's actually number one. That well, is course. called Invisible Touch. I think you, if you had heard it, you would probably know it instantly. Number two, I understand why you chose it, but because it is actually a real song. It's with Paul Simon. I heard them. No. Oh. Yeah. And it's uh, and it's it's definitely like a good or whatnot. And number three, it's me. I wrote that. <laughs> You're such a Phil Collins dude. Yeah, I, I love I love him. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> How are you so easy with the? <laughs> Wait, I can't. Even... It, it is strong, it's, uh, but it's also good. It has flavor. I like that. The flavor is, of course, pain, but yeah, 
Now I will uh, set you up for the next so you have something to think about while you die. Great. So the next artist is a Guns N' Roses song. Mm. I know you're not the, it's not the, you're not the biggest fan, but you will, you will know it. So Guns N' Roses is yes. number one. I get up around seven, get out of bed around nine. <laughs> Lyric number two. We dedicate this to who we are. Dedicate to this, dedicate to this. And number three is, I see you comb your hair and give me that grin. It's making a spin now, spinning with it. Number one. <laughs> it's true. It's number yes. one. Oh, thank God. The song. <laughs> the song here was Mr. Brownstone. Oh. Maybe not their biggest hit, but definitely one most people would know. Number two was your own. Oh yeah, that's correct. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice. I, I hoped you wouldn't realize. That sounded very repetitive. Oh. And then <laughs> number three is a rock set song. That's called How Do You Do. How do you do? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, I yeah. can't so, uh, I can't even. I'm helping. I'm, I'm really trying to help you also just eliminate what you do know. So, um, yeah. You surviving? Yeah, next one. Right. The next one is a Nickelback song. Mental wounds still screaming, driving me insane. I'm going off the rails on a crazy train. Number two is, I'm riding this ride to the end, fucking up shit as I go. You can't hold me down, rocking till the end of time. Number three is, just got my license back. I got this feeling in my veins, this train is coming off the track. And which one would that be? Which one of these is a Nickelback song? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm swinging back and probably trying to the I think it's number three. It's true. Oh. Number three is Animals with Nickelback. Number one oh, yeah, is... That's that's the one he's yeah. prob almost rapping in, right? Yeah. That's why I didn't really recognize it. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely. Oh my god, it goes so fast. And uh, it's so difficult when you don't have like, like the, the rhythm. It's so difficult yeah, to hear, like, right? Yeah, um, like, it's just words to me. Yeah. It's, and I'm like, barely focusing here. Oh, uh, I will say that number one was Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, yeah. I think that was a bit easy to like, like yeah. it, it said Crazy Train. It said so, like, Crazy Train, and I'm like... And mm -hmm. number two, what do you know, think number two was? Because you, you were going back and forth, that, that's actually me, I wrote that. Really? Yeah, I just wrote that. <laughs> you ready for the next one? You're doing so great, you've yeah. only taken one. Yeah, and I'm feeling it still. Mm -hmm. I think I'm, I'm going too easy on you. Mm. Well, the next <laughs> song, this is going to be something that the audience won't know, I think. Okay. But, but if you're in Denmark, you, you will know. Oh. Dizzy Miss Lizzy. Oh, dear God. Yes. Number one is... I can't find it, listening to barbed wire scratching my inside, controlling this dream, my baby's baby's bleeding scream. Number two is sitting all the time, trying to make it rhyme, but I'm stoned for a moment. Oh, that and sounds number, very lazy. And number three is, now I just want to get close to you and taste your love so sweet, <clears throat> and I just want to make love to you, feel your body heat. I'm gonna go with two. That is true. It is? Yeah, it is true. <laughs> I was, um, it just sounded very listy. Like, it was. I was yeah. trying to... It is actually from the from the song Barbed Wire, Baby Stream. I was trying to get you by writing my own lyrics using the word Barbed Wire. Number one is me. Number two is Barbed Wire, Barbed Wire, Baby Stream. And number three is White Snake, Still of the Night. So a good rock song, too. You are doing so well. I'm doing well, but I'm, my, my mouth is... Okay, but I'm, I, I'm getting ready to be wrecked. Because we're gonna go to a flow rider. Oh no. Yeah, we're going pop. Oh no! Oh, not, not pop. I don't know. Oh no! Well, number one, maybe a flow rider song. Let's see. Got a lot of aggressions to unload. Got another song to upload. I'm about to explode. Number two is with sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> one. <laughs> with sweet love and devotion, deeply touching my emotion. I want to stop and thank you, baby. I want to stop and thank you, baby. Yes, I do. Yes, and I do. number three is, look, I'm bidding you like people, and I'm bidding you love freak mode, and I'm bidding you like girls. So which one of these are a Flo Rida song? If anybody in the comments uh, or watching it can actually guess it, put it down below. We say I'm afraid. That's true. This is correct. You're so good. Whoa, I, I'm, I'm falling off the chair. You're so good. I'm, I'm going way too easy on you with this. Oh, um, I don't. 
And the <laughs> listen to Flower Hour, I just know he it's a pop song. Yeah. You never mentioned girls anywhere. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> uh, That's a Flora it's, it's a, a not so uh, you know, it, it's it's a bit of iffy uh, song, I think it's called Whistle and it's about stuff. Oh my god, don't yeah. say that word. <laughs> Try not to sing along challenge. Do you know what number one was? No, I don't remember. <laughs> It's your own. It's carnage. No. God, God, I love my Christians to unload. God, I love the song to upload. I'm about to explode. It's carnage by that dude. Uh, and number two is a very old song, a favorite of mine, James Taylor, How Sweet It Is. Mm. So, both oh. about girls. Are you just guessing and just being <laughs> awesome? I'm I mean, just guessing here. That's pretty cool. I have no clue. I mean, I, they, I, I did make him like, I wanted to go easy on you, but I, I didn't actually think you would get this, but that one. All right, the next one is Bon Joey. Which one of these are a Bon Joey? Oh. An angel smile is what you sell. You promised me heaven, then put me through hell. Chains of love got a hold on me. Had to cool me down to take another round. Now I'm back in the ring to take another swing. That the walls were shaking and the earth that was cold. Number three is, take me to the top, put an arrow through my heart. I'll beat you to it, I'll swing back around. Baby, toxic love is what I live for. First one. That's true. There you go. That is Bon Joey's You Give Love a Bad Name. And number two was an ACDC, you shook me all night long. And number three was me again. Yeah, excellent. Very good at songwriting. I was like, thank you. That was going back and forth between yeah. the first and the third one. Yeah. So like, I'm, wow. yeah, I'm trying to, uh, yeah, no, trying no, to make it argue. No, all right, the next one, you, you have to get this one. It's a Mariana's Trench song. I, I know you like those poems. Oh, it's been a while. Yeah, it was actually you who introduced me to them mm. back in the day. It's been a while. Number one. Yes. Keep you in the dark, you know they all pretend. Keep you in the dark, and so it all began. <laughs> Up in the club with my homies, trying to get a little VI. Keep it down on the low. And number three, so here's another day, I'll spend away from you. Another night, I'm on another broken avenue. Number two. That's wrong. Oh, God. Yeah. Number three was a Mariana Trench song, and it's, um, what's it called? Cross My Heart? I'll cross my yeah. heart and hope to die. Yeah. That's the name, right? And this is, yeah. No, it's actually just, the name's just Cross My Heart. But yeah, that's, that's the, that's the, the chorus. And this is just this reverse one. Um, and number two is, uh, Asha. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what it's called. But then again, Mariana Trench write very popular lyrics. Yeah, to be fair. And uh, number one was Pretender by Foo Fighters. And this was actually... This, is one, this one is from Mariana's French out there. Yeah. And this was the last one. So it's only fitting that you will end up eating a little bit of chili. That was the last one I had for you. You were doing so well. I'm, I'm like... I, I gotta say, guys, that, that he can't recognize his own damn lyrics. It's just a little fun to me. I was just like, nah, no, I can't get him with that. I, I, I can. And I could, and that's funny. <laughs> you need some milk. Fucking <laughs> hot! <laughs> no. <laughs> that's a fun one. You know what? I, I, I think I'm just gonna, 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 gonna end it here. Like, I, I think, you know. Hostile hot sauce from Denmark. Yeah. It's a good one. I guess thanks for watching. Yeah, uh, if you want to watch another Hot Sauce episode, click the video down below and remember to subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Bye, guys. <laughs>